Oh, yes, no. April 15th is fast approaching and everyone's thinking about, you know, January to April 15th as being tax time. And it is true. It's when you gather all your materials, you find out, you know, how much money you actually made, what you got to count or what the IRS is going to count as taxable money. And then you prepare your forms and you get them into your CPA or maybe you do them yourself, you get them into the IRS. And as a result of that, you either write a check or you get a check back. And a lot of that has to do with your tax planning. So I want, to I want to remind you that as a federal employee, your tax planning actually is in October. Your tax planning is when we have open season for health insurance, when we have it there for your flexible spending account. That is really a lot of your tax planning, the best tax planning that you can do. Remember that your health insurance premium is actually pre-tax when you're employed. That's a really important thing to remember. Also, think about the fact that if you use a flexible spending account appropriately, and assuming you don't have a lot of prescriptions, a lot of out-of-pocket costs already, you can still go through the flexible spending account uh, eligible expense area and find things that you could actually save money on from a tax perspective as you use them, things you're probably already doing. These are things that I think we miss when we talk about, well, how can I actually get a break on my taxes? If we're concerned about those taxes, but we're unaware of what kind of uh, benefits we have and how they actually help us during tax time, then by the time we get to January, February, March, and April, it's too late because we don't have that set up for us for 2021 and we already missed it for 2020. So this, com this coming this fall in October and, and November, I want to make sure that I say to you, um, when open season starts the second Monday of November, you should have already thought out what it is you can do to take advantage of your benefits that they're offering so that you can lower your tax bill. You might say, you know, that's only $300 or that's only $500 or whatever it is. Every little bit helps. You know, if someone, if you were saying that about saving money, someone would convince you that every little bit helps. Remember that that's true about saving on taxes as well. Every little bit helps.